What is up, nerds? It's me, your buddy pal here. Actually, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, we are reviewing, in two minutes or less, Superman, I don't even remember the name of the movie, Superman, The Man of Tomorrow, currently on HBO Max, which is the only reason I watched it was because it was free. Well-deserved price. Intro. <laughs> It's a decent movie, okay? This is a pretty decent movie, I must say. The only complaint I have about this is we don't need another Superman Origins movie. We've already, we know the story. We have tons of these movies. If they wanted to do this storyline, they could have simply just done a Superman storyline. We didn't need the intro to him in this. I do understand the concept of them wanting to start like another DC animated universe. If you haven't watched the Apocalypse War movie, that one is essentially an end game to the new 52 DC anime universe. I feel like this one is like kind of like another jumpstart. I don't know officially, but I'll look that up and confirm that here. In this movie, again, you get how he lands on earth, the, the trials and tribulations of him growing up. You do get him meeting Lobo for the first time, he meets Martian Manhunter for the first time. So no spoilers there, but nothing innovative as well. So is it worth the watch? Yeah, if you got nothing else to do, should you pay money for it? Absolutely not. Do not pay for this movie. Uh, it, it's it's decent enough. And if you have HBO Max, there's so many other movies to watch on there. The new 52 movies, I must say, are pretty decent. So give those a watch before you get to this one. But hey, let me know in the comments what you thought of the movie. Here at your live every single Thursday at 8 p.m. Nerdy Coffee Friday mornings with a new TV show review. Most importantly, more unboxings, more two minute reviews. And I'll talk to all you nerds in the next video. Peace. Thank you.